this video, I will show you current and actual solutions that multi-billion dollar companies are betting on right now. And you, as an independent fashion designer, should consider what's already out there to catch up and be as competitive as the industry demands. If you don't, you'll probably end up wasting lots of money, materials, time, and effort in old processes that are proven to be hung in museums already. If you haven't seen my prior video, Seven Benefits the Coronavirus has brought to the fashion industry, go ahead and check it out so you can understand how the fashion industry is evolving and gravitating towards new technological advances that comes as close to real life from runway to storefronts and garment development. If you are already a subscriber, thank you. You really are the strength behind our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We upload two videos per week where we aim to inspire, to explore, and help you build your fashion career. Subscribe today. Leave a comment below. We want to know what would you like to see in our videos. We read everything and base our content from those comments. I want to give a warm welcome to all my Facebook and Instagram friends where we recently published my adventure in this new channel. So a couple of weeks ago, I came across a few articles that mention an innovative Amsterdam-based company that provides only digital clothing, a product that is never physical and as true to life as possible. Extreme, huh? How can this work? If you want to see what I'm talking about, then keep watching and let's walk into your fashion studio. So my extensive research for the next technological solution for the fashion industry has led me to this Amsterdam-based company, The Fabricant. Their clothing products are digital, never physical. This immediately spiked a series of questions. How realistic can this product be? How the drape of different types of fabric will look? How would it appeal to my kind of customers? Hmm. Well, we all seen static images of clothing in catalogs and websites and I thought it cannot be like that because that's already done right and how about the importance of the garments how they are worn by the client I mean the latest thing was to put up a little video of this model wearing it and that's interesting but you have to make the garment so the model can wear it. So this is the process that this company eliminates. When you see pieces being worn and used by a model or a real person, it's more likely to want it. So that's one of the main reasons designers do runway shows. The storytelling part is very important. The concept, the creative side of presenting that garment to your client. I had to understand and see for myself how this would work in a real environment and industry where textures, colors, silhouette, and drape are so important. So let's go over the usual design development stages to make a garment since forever. Number one, you sketch your ideas. Number two, you redefine those sketches until you come up with the lineup. Then you start the toile making or sample making. Then you tune up the pattern. And then you cut the pieces in real fashion fabric. Then you present them either on a runway or on a website or so and so. Then you go into production and distribution. So the time frame between the sketch and distribution can take anywhere from three to six months. I've known companies that takes more than 12 months into development of new products. The importance that this huge 3D advancement brings is that the sketch ID can easily 
be realized digitally and eliminate the need of going back and forth with twirl make and tuning process where most of the details are redefined or fixed due to the way fabrics are draped and they behave after you cut them on a three-dimensional body form. Now we can all bump into the visualization and make a faster decision before committing to production. We all know that producing a garment requires a lot of textiles and materials. This step is now cut in half or perhaps eliminated, making it ideal towards the interest of cutting back on waste to save our planet. Enough said. Let's go to their website and explore the unimaginable. Let's go over to the Fabricant's website. And let's learn a little bit about them. Let's see who they are. Right away, you can see the images are pretty amazing to be a digital 3D design of a garment. So here's the team. This is Carrie, the founder, Amber, the creative director, Adriana, co partner, commercial director. This is Bram, the 3D product expert. Michaela, creative strategy and communications. Marluz, creative producer. And Katharina, a 3D design intern. Advisors, Alessandro for the legal. Renyi, which who is um, head of design strategies. And we're browsing along as I discover them too. Here's an interesting fact. A digital fashion house leading the fashion industry towards a new sector of digital only clothing. So let's go back to the main page. And as I promised, we are going to talk about this kind of product that has been out there for a couple of years, but not as handy for independent designers. So this is the future of fashion design. Look at those textiles, materials, the light and the shadow, the movement of the fabrics, the weight applied on them. Look at that. They operate at the intersection of fashion and technology, fabricating digital couture and fashion experiences. Always digital, never physical. That phrase blew my mind because I've heard about 3D fashion design before, of course. It was not as necessary as it is today. Okay, in the blog page from April 9th, it's titled, Here Comes Your Post-Pandemic Future. You should read them. I'm not going to read them here. I already did, and they are very interesting. I just want you to go over to their website and write your own conclusions. Not because I'm saying so, it is because they are really avant-garde and making the huge difference. Isn't this amazing? Even the toes are seen, how the fabric moves. Don't you want to design something from a paper, a sketch, simple sketch, and immediately do it in fabric to understand how that garment will move in the body? I love it. There's another article when the world stops, 
how do you keep going from March 26? You might be thinking, oh yeah, a hoodie, a sweater from Puma, who haven't seen that? Yeah, maybe the color for this season is new, uh, blah, blah, blah. But now, as a designer point of view, I want you to take a close look at the details of the cord with the tiny little caps as finishes, the detail around the edge of the hoodie, there's no seam at the neckline, there's no seam at the shoulder, apparently. No armhole seam. So this is a very innovative piece of garment considering that it was designed from a 2D perspective. I mean, I'm crazy to see the pattern for that. This is digital design and I cannot believe it. No, 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 no. This is something else. Let's go to projects. So here are a lot of other projects. In our next video, we play with the fabric house creation. L E E L A. What is that? Subscribe if you want to know. Also, I'll introduce you to that special software used to make those marvelous designs. It's affordable and every independent designer should have it. Alright, this wraps up our must have solution for fashion design right now. This is the future. Bye bye for now. You shaved my brows. Oh gosh, no. Oops. Whatever. <laughs>